So a lot of people judge a book by its cover, which is why having great YouTube thumbnails is so important. You're giving someone a sneak peek into the content, so you really have to grab their attention, which is why today I wanted to show you Gravy Designer. If you've ever wanted to do those thumbnails where you or your face is cut out and it's placed on a background, I'm gonna show you how. If you're new here, I'd love for you to subscribe. I post weekly videos about design and business, which is why today we're doing a design tutorial. So the first thing I'm gonna do is import a screenshot I took from my video file. Now to start my thumbnail, I'm going to do the outline. So I'm going to select the path tool right here. It looks like a pin. And then I wanna zoom in so that I can get really close to the edge so it's a nice clean outline. All you have to do is click the tool and it's going to create a continuous line between each click. Make sure on rounded edges, like your head, that you do short little clicks so that it's rounder and the edges are softer. You might be able to see there's a little circle next to the tool and that's telling me I'm closing the loop. So you can see that it's been completed, so I'm going to zoom out. Now I'm going to select both the picture and the outline and go up to modify and mask with shape. So you can see right away at the top, right there, there are some kind of pointy edges. If I were really going to use this as a thumbnail, I would go back and fix those so it was a rounder edge. So I'm just going to move this over here. So I'm going to draw a square for the background color and I wanna change the color to my brand color. And you can also do a gradient. Now when I do gradients, I do subtle gradients. So I have my brand color here on the left. I'm going to click on the right and put my brand color again, but then I'll move this little circle. So it's not a super obvious gradient, but it does give your thumbnail a little more depth. Now I'm going to move this to the back so it's the bottom layer of my design. And to make my thumbnail a little more interesting, I'm going to add a background image as well. And then I wanna make sure this fills the entire canvas. And again, I wanna make sure I send it to the back. Now for the gradient, I'm going to adjust the blending style or the opacity. So these are some effects you can actually get in Photoshop. So it basically makes your color more see-through or affects how it looks on top of the image. I'm not really a fan of these most of the time because they just look funny. So I'm gonna leave it at normal, but just adjust the opacity. Now I'm going to add text. I don't wanna put too much text on the thumbnail and I wanna also make sure that it's easy to read. Gravit actually has a great number of fonts available, more than Canva, and you can import fonts. So if you have brand fonts you wanna use, you can do that. So I'm going to make this white so that it's really easy to read and make it bold. And then we're going to bump the size up. Now, looking back at the outline, the black outline doesn't look too great. So I'm going to click here and make it white. Now most of the time when people do the white outline, it's a lot thicker than that, but I wanna show you what happens if you do it here. So it kind of cuts into me, which looks really weird. So I'm going to undo, and then I'm going to copy and paste. So now you can see there are two of the files, and I'm going to make the border thick again, and then line it up and send it backwards. So now you can see that the one with the thin border is in front and the thick border is behind it but still looks great. So I want to make the thumbnail a little bit more visually interesting. One of my favorite features about Gravit is that it has a lot of shapes and illustrations and icons that you can use. So I'm just gonna do a quick search, find one, drag and drop, and it's a vector so you can easily enlarge it and change the color. So I'm just gonna make it a little bit bigger. And now my thumbnail's ready to go. So all I have to do is go to File, Export, and choose PNG or JPEG. 